Hey guys, this is Spartacus here and welcome back to another video. I know today is the day of the Vanguard reveal for the next Call of Duty game and unfortunately I will not be at the live event in a war zone to experience this for myself which is really unfortunate. I feel like I'm always missing out on this kind of stuff because of like different scheduling conflicts and of course me working a full-time job. It's really unfortunate that I'm just one of those people who just can't get myself into this event because I have a job, right? And so, really unfortunate, I am excited to see what this reveal brings to us, and I hope this video doesn't become irrelevant during the time of the event. I mean, obviously, I'm probably not going to get a lot of views on this video anyway, but there is a certain topic about this next game that makes me very concerned, because based on all the leaks and rumors I heard about this next multiplayer experience in Vanguard, it sounds a little similar to Modern Warfare 2019. And what I mean very similar, I know it sounds like that the graphics are going to be basically the same as Modern Warfare's, which is awesome. I'm not, no complaints there, of course. I think Modern Warfare has a great in-game engine when it comes to graphics. However, it's the way that the game is played is what I'm really concerned about. Modern Warfare 2019, in my opinion, is the worst Call of Duty game to have ever come out. And I, it just bothers the crap out of me. It really bothers the crap out of me how many people love Modern Warfare. Warfare 2019, and I think the reason why it gained so much popularity is because it really appealed to casual players. It what didn't really appeal to the hardcore Call of Duty fans, but it appealed a lot to the casual players, and that might be the reason why I didn't like it, because I know the Infinity War developers did come out and say before the game came out that they were designing the game to basically appeal to more casual play style and to more casual players rather than the dedicated Call of Duty player base which is really upsetting to hear if I'm being completely honest with you. But, of course, some of you out there may love Modern Warfare 2019. That is totally okay with me. It is your opinion. It's something that you guys enjoy, and I'm happy for you. But, unfortunately for me, I did not enjoy Modern Warfare 2019. So, why am I con concerned for this next Call of Duty game being like Modern Warfare 2019? Well, there's a few different things I'd like to mention. One thing I know that some of the leaks that we've seen from credible sources, that they, they are going to have the mounting feature that the same that we see in Modern Warfare 2019 and in Warzone. I guess my biggest concern with this is that I feel like the whole mounting system is a good uh, gameplay element to add into the Call of Duty series. Of course, we first saw this in Call of Duty Ghosts. wasn't really used that much back then, but I think the, the game mechanics that we saw in Modern Warfare 2019 definitely worked well. However, the thing I hate about mounting is, for one reason, it promotes camping. Because when you mount your weapon on a wall or object or whatever, the reason why it promotes camping is is camping is because for one you're not moving you're just staying still and two you basically have zero recoil when you're mounting your gun on any surface which I think is completely ridiculous I don't know why that's the case that just really promotes camping in every single way possible not to mention the ghost perk in Modern Warfare 2019 you will not show up on a UAV even if you're staying still which is also ridiculous so yeah the whole mounting feature just completely ruins the gameplay when it and just promotes camping like crazy. I cannot tell you how many campers I have came across in Modern Warfare 2019, and it is annoying. I hate that. And hearing that it's going to be coming back into World War II has me really concerned, because that is something, a, just a huge complaint I had about Modern Warfare 2019, and did not make the experience very fun for me. But who knows, right? Maybe it's not going to be like that. And another reason why I don't like the mounting thing is because it's implemented into the camo challenges. I can't remember how many mounted kills you needed for each gun to actually get done with all those certain type of challenges for that specific weapon but it was quite a bit you had to get quite a bit of mounted kills to get gold on your gun and that is just so annoying because a lot of people do like to go for gold camo and of course eventually get damascus which is awesome it, it shows people are actually trying to use a variety of different guns they're not just sticking with one weapon all the time which is a great incentive you know for having a mastery camo just like damascus however i just do not like the fact that it the, there's so many you have there's so many mounted kills you have to get just to get a weapon gold and I just think it just makes everybody just like tries to mount every place that everywhere they can you know it's ugh. 
Oh my goodness, you guys, I really did not like that. And of course, there are other features of Modern Warfare I didn't like, which may not actually be the case when World War II comes out. For example, the minimap situation. Now, originally, Modern Warfare was not going to have a minimap, but of course, with a lot of feedback from the Call of Duty community, they decided to put in the minimap, which I think was definitely a good decision. However, it doesn't matter what attachments you're using on your weapon in Modern Warfare, you would never show up on the minimap unless someone called in a UAV or they marked you with like a recon drone or maybe a snapshot grenade or something like that. In previous Call of Duty games, when you would fire your weapon, you would show up as a red dot on the enemy's minimap indicating where you are at, right? Which gave your position away essentially, right? However, if you put a suppressor on your gun, then you wouldn't show up on their minimap, making it a tactical advantage for you to actually flank enemy teams and of course go on longer kill streaks. Of course, the trade-off using a suppressor is your gun wouldn't have as long of range and so there is that of course opportunity cost and trade-off right there for running a suppressor but in modern warfare 2019 it didn't matter if you used any attachments or you used a bunch of different kinds of attachments that was not the case when it came to the minimap you could be going gun blazing loud and clear with your gun and you would not show up as a red dot on the enemy's minimap this is something that i did not like at all like originally of course they didn't want a minimap to be in the game so obviously if that was the case today then if you would shoot your gun you, clearly you wouldn't show up on the minimap unless maybe you had a UAV active or something like that uh, but right like you get my point you guys so I that's something that I really liked in previous Call of Duty games and they completely changed it in Modern Warfare and seeing how we're seeing previous mechanics from Modern Warfare coming to Vanguard really does have a concern and I think the biggest reason I think this is a little bit of an obvious reason but I don't hear too many people talk about it the most most obvious reason why we see Vanguard actually being very similar to Modern Warfare 2019 is because the game is supposed to be tied in with Warzone. This should not be a surprise to any of you. Warzone had made Call of Duty become so much bigger than it's ever been before and of course Warzone is in a terrible state because of the whole hacking situation with the game. However, it just makes sense for them to create another Call of Duty game on the same engine as Modern Warfare and using same game mechanics from that game so that way it transitions really well into their Warzone Battle Royale. For example, we have mounting and we even have double sprint coming back from what I've seen from leaks and rumors out there. So yeah, it makes so much sense to create these future Call of Duty titles to basically be very similar to Modern Warfare 2019's multiplayer because it's basically the same as Warzone and so it can transition into that game really easily and so that is the biggest reason why we see this next Call of Duty game in Modern Warfare's game engine which you know like I said graphically awesome I don't mind it but gameplay wise it is absolutely terrible and that is my biggest concern for this next game you guys and I don't want to continue any further to rant about this I just really had to get that out there and of course I hope this video doesn't become super irrelevant the day of the worldwide reveal for this next game because obviously I have to make these videos ahead of time and I'm not able to actually upload things right away as soon as things as information and whatever type of things come out you know like I have to like do this stuff ahead of time which is a real shame and of course my internet sucks you know it's not just because I have a full-time job it's also because my internet sucks you guys so there's also that but anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed it and of course subscribe to the channel for more Call of Duty videos every single day and I shall catch you guys later